Since Act 4 and the Dark Aether come out, we've kind of fallen behind on the camel grind, but that ends today because we're going to be testing out the new sniper, the XRX Stalker. I've actually heard that the sniper is really good. Like it has a crazy damage output. Even in the menu, like the gunsmith, when you're putting attachments on, it has the damage stat all the way filled. And that zombie didn't even stand a chance. But the camos for it are pretty easy, except for getting the critical kills, but it's still only 200, which is basically nothing compared to what we had to do in Cold War. And then it's 200 kills with frost damage to it, so I'll throw that on there. And then we need to get 200 or 250 kills with four perks active, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Let me uh, go ahead and throw my perks on real quick. But before I throw Deadshot on, I kind of want to test this against a tier 2 zombie, because obviously these tier 1 zombies, they don't stand a chance. We're just going to go right through them. All right, tier two zombies, where you at? Oh, here we go. This one's a light armored zombie. Oh, broke his helmet in one shot. And it looks like it's going to be like a four shot kill, which is not ideal with a sniper. But again, I have not upgraded this at all. It's still a gray, gray tier, no pack a punch and no perks that'll help me do more damage. The normal zombies also kind of tanking shots to the head. But when we pack a punch it and throw an epic rarity tool on it, Ooh, we can collat three of them. This thing's kind of nasty. You just got to be quick with it. Now we'll throw dead shot on it. Add a little bit more. Some PhD for fun. Now we got to get to some camo grinding. I've heard rumors that the Outlast contract is back. Like you can still get zombie spawns while you're not getting progress towards it. So we'll see. Let me see if I can get this vehicle too. Uh, I can't JFK him. They already went under the triple underpass. Oh. That would have been sweet. And once we're done getting our camos for it, I want to go try it out against Omega Abomination. Hopefully we'll have enough money to get a pack a punch three by then. Let's see if the rumors are true. I am a little scared because this is in a tier two zone. All of our tier one contracts got taken, but this will be huge if they reverse the nerf. Oh, well, here goes nothing. I'm going to do my classic strat of getting this up to like 50% first, and then we'll step out and see if zombies spawn. And we also got to make sure that we're trying to get critical kills here. I don't want to fall behind on those. Oh, is that a mangler? That did kind of nothing to him. Oh, wait. That was a two-shot kill, actually. The first shot was a fluke. The first shot was just to break armor, I guess. And so much for getting up to 50%. I guess I guess 40 is fine enough. We just had to run out of the warehouse. I think we are still getting spawns, though, unless uh, these guys spawn on the other side of the building and are just now making their way over here. Also, this gun is loud as shit. Every time I shoot it, I can hear the echo. But it's gone down, like... 20% and we're still getting spawns. Maybe outlasts are back. Yeah, we got it at 0% and we're still getting a nice amount of zombies coming in and I just saw some spawn down the way. Welcome back, outlast. I missed you. That's perfect that they're spawning so far away because I can just pick them off. The reload on it is not bad either. Like, it's pretty fast. I, I do have speed call on, which is definitely affecting it. Hold on, hit a shot challenge. But I basically built this thing only... Oh, wait, there's a 250 kills. I, I keep getting distracted. But I basically built this thing only for damage. The only non-damaging attachments I put on here was the, like, quick rechambering speed. And honestly, the, the aim down sight time is not slow at all. Our sprint to fire time is a little bit slow. Sprinting to ADS. Which is not a big deal here, but when we go to the tier 3 zone, it might. But I really just want to see the max amount of damage it could do. But I'll, I'll flash my build on screen here if you want to try out this one. Maybe they just put that outlast. Don't spawn zombies anymore in the patch notes just to get people to stop using them. But they are definitely back. There's like 250 kills of frost damage. There's like 250 kills with four, four perks active. And we're probably going to be a bit on these crits. But once we get all those done, all we got to do is exfil. And we'll be able to get gold on it. And then we can come back in and get Zerk on scale after. It's kind of mesmerizing looking down the scope of this and seeing the pack a bunch camo just move inward around it. It's like hypnotizing. Come on. We got to be close on our crits. I feel like I've gotten a good amount of them. Just show you my camo already. There it is. All right, let's finish this contract and then we can run a few cargoes. So we got enough money to get pack three. Let's see if I can train some up and see how many zombies we can collat in a row. So I think from what I tested when the game first came out with X fills, I could collat like eight zombies at a time, which is crazy coming from Cold War where you could only collat three at most. But if I can get enough of these guys on a line, we'll try it out. Maybe I throw a decoy because I know this mangler won't want to fall in line. Okay, right here. So that was only two because you get 20 XP per zombie. So it's just multiples of two here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can get enough of them in line. 
Highest I've seen so far is three zombies, but I know I can do more. I'm sure of it. And we finished our contract. Please don't kill me. Zombies back the fuck up. They get smacked the fuck up. So for clats, inconclusive. We'll have to test some more. So let's run a few of these. And we should have enough money in no time. What does it do against mercs? A better one shot him. Now let's try this. I'm going to drive away for a second, see if we can spawn in the enemy helicopter. Here it comes. I accidentally switched seats. Get back in it. Let's put this somewhere safe. There we go. Safe and sound. All right, helicopter. Uh, it does not do as much damage as I thought it would. But I could probably easily take this thing out with it. You know, let's just do it for fun. Zombies, you're not a part of this. This is not for you. See you later, helicopter. Thanks for stopping by, dude. All right, now we can make this delivery. However we want. No threat of an enemy helicopter. All right, that should get us a little bit closer. We just need a thousand more. Oh, and an uncommon aether tool. What a reward. I feel like the loot has gotten way worse in this game. I either get that or schematics that I've had since like the first week. But since we do need a little bit more money, we can do a quick little bounty contract and see how this does against uh, HVT. And it was so scared it just killed itself apparently it literally just died yeah you know, i'll take that free cash and a raw ethereum schematic that's what i was just talking about same schematics i've had since like day one all right well that hvt isn't what we're looking for anyways we want this guy right here but we're gonna need pack three you need to make sure this is a fair fight don't you go nowhere and against tier three zombies though pack a bunch two epic tier i uh, can one shot them if you're hitting headshots, well, let's grab pack three and it looks like we have a mega abomination right over here how much damage are we doing to them not really any, but his mouth was not open. I was shooting all the wrong parts. Actually, I have a great idea. I grabbed a few chunks of meat earlier when we were doing that outlast contract. Let me go over to the doghouse that's a guaranteed spawn over here, and we'll get a little ally to help us take out the mega abomination. Mainly just to pick me up when I go down, because I only have two self revives. And we all know I'm going to go down more than twice. So let's throw a decoy preemptively. Get the zombies away from me. And let's throw these in here. Come on out, dog. Let's go. We got pickles. Come on, pickles. We got a mega abomination to take down. So far, this disciple is a three-shot kill. This mimic is a two-shot kill. And the mega abomination probably going to take uh, more than that, if I had to guess. He doesn't seem to know that we're here yet. He's, like, ignoring us. We've already done a good amount of damage to him, though. Yeah, he has no idea we're here somehow. The zombies definitely have a clue, though. Tell you what. Let me throw down a cluster mine between me and them. And we'll see if this keeps me safe. We already got him half health. Head exploded. Still has no idea we're here, by the way. Yep, yep. Turned around. Show me his ass. Oh, my hellhound's getting mobbed. Let me throw a nade over there to help him out. But very nice of him to take all the heat off me. Damn, getting a hellhound over here is actually so clutch. He just killed basically all the zombies for me. And the mega abomination's gotta be bugged or something, but I was doing no damage from behind, so. Gotta get a little bit of a different angle here. Let me just break your last head, and I'll be good to go. We almost got him. Does some pretty hefty damage when he's got his mouth open, and he's dead. Let's fucking go, dude. That was easy. I gotta grab these hellhounds more often. I made it super simple over here. How much health are you at? Still half health? Hell yeah, dude. That's a good boy. Maybe we do an uh, eliminate bounty while we're here. Since we got tr trusty old pickles here to help us out. And how nice. Somebody's already got a deadbolt turret going over here. Please don't be going for that bounty, sir. I wanted it. Bastard. Any other bounties? No. The only options we have are Escort, Spore, and Outlast. Fuck it, we'll do an Outlast. I was about to get crazy over here, but let's try it. Let's see if I can get at least one good schematic coming out of here. We just gotta stay in this building until this is done. Oh, shit. Oh, and Pickles is back to full health. This should be a breeze. Already at 31%. Only had to kill, like, maybe three zombies. Pickles has just put in that work. Okay, now zombies are spawning, and I'm hurting. And I'm down. Pickles? Will Pickles revive me? Oh, Pickles is getting mobbed. Oh, he did. Let's go. You're the man, Pickles. I might need a little bit more help, Pickles, if you don't mind. Holy shit, he's getting jumped. And he still got me up. What a fucking guy. Oh, he's so low health, though. Let me draw the zombies to me. You leave him alone. Let's throw a decoy, too. Give Pickles some breathing room here. And we finish the contract. What do we get from it? Wow, nothing. Who would have guessed? Could have at least given me a Dark Aether Sigil or something. But no. I get a monkey bomb. 
Oh, Pickles just left us. I heard his call. He howled out. You did good, Pickles. You did good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait. I still see pet dog kill popping up. Pickles, are you in here? Where are you? Is that a quick nuke? Is this you? No way. Pickles is still kicking it. That's what I'm talking about, Pickles. That's my guy right there. And I guess now we can kind of try to see how many zombies we can clat with this. We got a good amount right here. Let's see. That one was three. We can do better than that. Another three. Eh. I don't think we're getting there. Oh, that one was 100. 180. Maybe because I was shooting a little close together. Whatever. I'm sure you can clad a few with it. And we've escaped. That should be gold right there. And there's gold on Enigma. Now let's grind Zircon scale real quick. And while we're grinding out Zircon scale, we use a little bit of a different build here. This one's more built for speed. And I did get this through a bundle. It's from the Beach Booming bundle. And like, come on. I have to get anything that's Synthwave. I'm a bitch for Synthwave. It just looks sweet. But before we even start working on Zircon skill, I want to see if we can try to keep this blueprint on the sniper. Because I know when you hit the Pack-A-Punch machine, you won't get the pack camo. I'm going to see if I can hit it and then apply a crystal because some of you guys are telling me to try that out. So we'll see if that works. Let's see if this works. Melee the Pack-A-Punch machine. I did it twice. It made the noise like I Pack-A-Punch. Okay, now I got myself confused. So if I did it twice... I turned it off. I turned it back on. This should turn it off again. There we go. Let's use it. Oh! I guess we got a little combination of it. That's not terrible, but I don't think we got what we were looking for. Oh, well. As long as I can still see those little outlines, I'm fine with it. And it is a bit faster. I feel like the reload speed or the rechambering speed is a bit slower. Maybe it has a different attachment on this blueprint. But the movement speed, the ADS speed is definitely faster. And to get our Zircon scale, let's do a tier one outlast. Maybe it's just the tier twos that you get infinite zombies. Maybe tier one's different. Oh, this room is sweet. I don't even think I've ever been in this building. I've done a bunch of contracts over here, but never been inside. Shows evil reference. All right, it's up to 60%. Let's step outside. Getting no progress on it. And there's still a few zombies. Let's see if these are guys that spawned in before I came out here. Or if they're guys that are spawning now. Nope, I think they're actually still spawning. That's cool. I'm glad they reverted the outlast change. I'm glad they listened. There's our Zircon scale. Let's fucking go. All right, now for the rest of this game, I'm going to try to grind contracts and see if I can get any Dark Aether sigils. Oh, let's go. We got a Rift sigil. It's probably going to be a mistake, but let's try an Escort contract here. I'm thirsty for these Aether Rifts. All right, come on. Let's get moving because somebody left their HVT Mega Abomination over here. I'm not trying to fuck with this guy, but I think he's trying to fuck with me. He's already chasing me down. Um, Have a cluster mine. Let's not go down here. Or let's go down, you know, whatever one works. That's fine. You can have an airstrike too while you're at it. Let's get this thing to start sucking out the Aether Rift. I'm throwing a decoy and I'm about to use this deadbolt turret. There you go. There's a turret circuit. And we're going down again. Sweet. Fantastic. They are definitely going to fuck up my HTV or H... Whatever the fuck this thing is called. The ACV. But this deadbolt turret's helping out immensely. We just had to take like a, a quick... 40% damage. Let's use this. Let's try to lead the zombies back over to here so this can spot them. Yeah, idiots. Oh, and it's still... Something's doing damage to it over here. And I down myself my own nade. Sometimes I forget that I don't have PhD. I got no more self-revives. I think we just need to leave. I'm sorry, ACV. I don't think you're making it. And I won't either unless I get out of here. I'm not about to die with this Aether Rift. No! Now we're gonna have to wait like five minutes for the next Exfil helicopter to come. Oh, it was actually pretty quick. Exfils are back. And we've successfully made it out with our sigil. Actually, maybe I shouldn't say anything. We're not all the way out yet. All right, cool. Almost jinxed it there at the end. There was still time. It was a buzzer beater. And there's our Zircon skill. Let's go. But after getting the sniper done, it's actually pretty good. It does an insane amount of damage. Probably not as much as like the TYRs or like pre-patched like crossbow. But it still does a really good amount of damage. And you can get it from range. Not to mention that it's not even that slow. The reload on it's pretty quick. I mean, especially with speed cola. And adding in the faster rechamber speed makes this like a blast to use but that's all i got for you guys today thank you for watching i truly appreciate your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later